up, we are joined by Dr. Susan Elza, the UIL Athletic Director, big time over here at Lobo Stadium. But Dr. Elza, this is your first time at Lobo Stadium? Yes. Is that not terrible? I mean, <laughs> Coach King would not let me live that down, so guess what? I'm here. Absolutely. I mean, what made you come on such a historic night? You know, at December, in our state championships last year, Coach King was, you know, giving me a load of heck on why <laughs> I had not been to Lobo Stadium. And, I, you know, I didn't have a good answer. Big state, you know, I go to a lot of games every week. And I said, tell me what game you want me to come to. He said, Lobos versus Marshall. Let's go. I said, I'm in, I'm coming, and, and here I am. And it's just, it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's a cool environment. And uh, just so glad to be here. Absolutely. You're the athletic director across the whole state. I mean, is there any feeling you get from the beast texas region that may be you know better than others <laughs> <laughs> i gotta be careful not to play favorites but i, I will say it's special i mean uh, the coaches that are in this east texas region are are just different and and i've talked about it before they coach kids hard the parents accept them coaching kids hard but they coach kids in the right way and they make them better and, and that just gives me the chills when i think about it so it's awesome to be out here, to be in this environment, and, and to see uh, Coach Alvarez and Coach King, you know, two of the best in, in the history of high school football, pairing up here tonight and, and you know, going to knock it around a little bit. Oh, for sure. When we have uh, games like this, you know, the kids see the coaches, the players, the sports people, like, oh, I want to be them when I grow up. But, I mean, athletic director, what does the UIL athletic director do? <laughs> Well, I say you age in dog years is what you do because it's a, you know, it's a, it's a job that has a lot of good components to it. This where you get to come see the kids perform and play and see all their hard work out on the field. And, and the, the second good part is just the coaches, you know, that lead our kids week in and week out. And, and, you know, the depth of that, I mean, what they do for kids is more than surface level. And, um, but we have a lot of compliance. So sometimes that makes us a little unpopular and, and that's just part of the job, but this is absolutely the best when we can come see the kids play. Oh, for sure. We talk about rivalries. You're here on a book tour with Dr. Herna Taylor, the yep. Draw the Line book. Yep. We've had that book on our show plenty of times. I mean, rivalries, rivalries. Is this what makes Texas high school football so great? Oh, I mean, what is this, the 112th? 112th. And, and I've been, I was telling uh, Dr. Taylor today that I've been to a couple of the other rivalries, one of them, the Battle of the Axe, uh, Sherman Denison, it's one of the ones that's over 100 years as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to go to every single one of them, but it does, it's, it's the true, um, core of, of Texas high school football, these rivalries. They, they live for these moments. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, thank us. Thank you. Appreciate and we'll be it. right back after the break.